Hi everyone, I'm Claire Morneau. I'm CISA's Communications Manager, and I am here talking today to Nick Seaman, owner of The Black Sheep in Amherst. And we're gonna be talking about some of the changes that this business is undergoing because of the pandemic and as we enter winter. Um, so Nick, thanks for being here. Thanks for talking with us. Um, Wonderful to be here, thanks. And I'm wondering if you can just start us off by talking a little bit about what the Black Sheep is historically and what it is that you're doing, um, what your change is that you're undergoing right now. Well, historically, we opened in 1986 and we looked around the town of Amherst and thought there was a need for a New York style deli with a European style bakery. I grew up in New York and I was fairly horrified at what New Englanders thought a deli was. And um, so we hit a nerve and we did really well and we had a, ca carried a lot in addition to the foods we were making sandwiches and baked goods and things we were carrying a lot of uh items on the shelf for lack of a better term of gourmet products and then uh bread and circus for those of you who have been around long enough to know that's what whole foods used to be called um got into the business of that kind of product and so did the supermarket so we started to get out competed in that category, but we also found that people really wanted what we were cooking and baking. So we, we changed and we made, became more of a, you know, bakery deli than a downtown, you know, gourmet market. And, um, and that, and, and then we added catering and delivery and, and that lasted for about 30 years until, you know, the pandemic. So we, we now we're faced with needing to change again. Yeah. Um, it's pretty amazing how much of a, like, earth shattering event we're all living through right now. Yeah, you um, betcha. Yeah. So will you talk a little bit about, about the, the change that you're, you're implementing right now? Well, sure. So we, uh, you know, UMass, Amherst College, all the colleges shut down in after spring break this past March. And we tried to stay open for a few weeks after that with delivery and curbside pickup. Um, but looking back at it now, my perspective is that people really didn't get it then, that that, that was the way life was gonna be. And it was really slow and all my employees went on uh, unemployment. And at the time, as you know, that people were making an extra 600 bucks a week. So it was really hard to consider bringing people back to work who were making more money on unemployment than they were working for me. So we timed it, our reopening for August and um, Still waiting to know exactly what UMass is doing and all the colleges are doing. But uh, during that four month period that we were closed, I spoke to every friend of mine that owns a restaurant or a deli or a bakery. What are they doing? You know, we spent, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out the path forward. And I, I, it became clear to me that if I stuck to just my same model, that it, that wasn't really gonna work. And the two specific friends of mine that own a, uh, one a high-end restaurant and one a deli bakery, not unlike the Black Sheep down on Cape Cod, who didn't or couldn't change their model are both closed now for the winter. They couldn't you know, make it work. So we sat around thinking about what we could do that would be different. And Amherst does not have a downtown market. We have supermarkets, big box stores down on Route 9, but not everybody wants to go down there every time they need something. It's, it's crowded sometimes. And, uh, you know, outside some of these stores, you got to wait in line in the rain to be before you can even get in the store. So we came up with this model where we would have a select amount of groceries, meats, cheeses, dairy, uh, our own prepared things, um, which we use a lot of local products for. And people could either order and pick up for in-store pickup, uh, curbside, or we'll do home delivery. And we're trying to offer people options other than the big box stores. And we're trying to concentrate on local uh, produce and cheeses and dairy. So that's what we're doing. Yeah. So right now, if people stop by the Black Sheep or go to your website and look for information about curbside pickup and home delivery, they can get their groceries through you. That's right. They can click on what they want and either they come pick up or we'll run it to your house. Yeah. So it sounds like this is a COVID related change. It's driven by the need to adapt to the pandemic circumstance, but also it meets a need in downtown Amherst of having a grocery store that Amherst doesn't currently have. Well, that's true. And, you know, we don't have a huge space. So this isn't going to be a grocery store that can compete with big wire stop and shop. 
yeah. for everything that people need and they're going to have to go there. I get, we get that and we're really clear about that. Yeah. But if you need some pasta and some sauce and a roll of toilet paper and a dinner to go and, you know, a head of cabbage or broccoli from a local farm, we've got that and you can go home and have dinner without, you know, dealing with route nine. Right. <laughs> that sounded very ominous. <laughs> yeah. um, so do you know yet whether this is going to be a permanent change? Do you have a thought about what the future? Will be? Uh, well, you know, I, I suppose if I was a good prognosticator, uh, the Democratic Party would hire me as a you know, political consultant or something. Um, I tend to think that it's going to go on longer than people are hoping for. Um, I don't see the vaccine uh, changing people's desire to leave their homes and come out and eat in restaurants or whatever for a while. And what what that mean? A year, maybe? Um, you know, what I've been told and what I've watched the news because I try to figure out what to do with my business. Um, the first 6 million, 10 million vaccines or 25 million or whatever number they're talking about going to go, which they should go to healthcare workers and, you know, the, the most susceptible in our uh, population, like, you know, let's say the elderly in nursing homes or whatever. So my regular customers who live in Amherst who would think about coming to a restaurant probably aren't going to get vaccinated and maybe young students aren't going to be vaccinated right away either. Mm -hmm. um, and what we've learned is that students in town have kept our older locals away from town because mm. they're concerned. They don't want to rub shoulders with them because they don't know where they were on Saturday night or Sunday night or where they social distancing or wearing a mask or whatever. And uh, young people, even though they might not contract the virus more seriously, are, you know, can be serious spreaders. So at least that's what I hear from my customers. So um, I think, I think we're in this for the long haul. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm building the grocery for the long haul. Yeah. Um, and so you are sourcing products from local farms. Have you, we are. Found, you've had longstanding relationships with local farms for the restaurant. Has yes. that translated? Are you, are you building new relationships? How's that working out for you? Well, we're using some of the, my old friends who we've been bought from for years. Uh, Wally Sikowski at Plainville farm in Hadley and uh, Michael doctor at winter moon farm. Uh, I've talked to Jeremy at simple gifts and we're waiting for a lot of new equipment to show up through a, state grant that we got, new coolers and freezers and different things for the bakery uh, before we really expand the market, which I'm told might be here next week. Um, um, so I've talked to, we're buying from Plainville and from Winter Moon and I'm waiting to buy from Simple Gifts. Uh, I own a farm, Black Sheep Farm in Leverett and we've been bringing things down here, either uh, vegetables and also uh, we've been making canned products uh, from the things we grow on the farm. Um, and I know a, a number of people who make their own maple syrup, so we're hoping to have local maple syrup. And uh, we use maple uh, lime dairy for, in Hadley for all our dairy, which we have forever and ever. So they're all thrilled that we're doing this because it's increasing their sales. And, uh, and I think what you probably understand is um, a lot of these farms and producers of either produce or cheeses or meats or whatever, are suffering because restaurants are closed around the country. So if their business was built on, you know, raising chicken for restaurants or seafood or cheeses or whatever, um, that's uh, it's 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 a tough model now to to survive. So anything like my business, everybody's kind of receiving us with open arms that they want to sell to us because, you know, they're not selling to restaurants. Yeah. Um, so. The main takeaways are people can stop by the Black Sheep for grocery shopping, deli, all of that good stuff, takeout. Right. Um, and you're doing home delivery and curbside pickup as well for people who prefer not to shop in store. Correct. And we're, the other thing we're really trying to push a little harder than we have in the past is meals to go. You know, like quarts of soup and stew and chicken pot pie and lasagna and things that you can just grab. Everybody's working hard or, you know, just can't handle their life anymore. And just to throw something in the microwave or the oven to heat up for dinner at a reasonable price. And it's local. They're supporting us. You know, they're not only supporting the local farms, but, you know, everybody that works for me is local and they pay rent and mortgages and send kids to the schools. And, you know, it's all a big circle. Yeah. 
Um, well, that's great. I'm excited to hear about this. I know, you know, you're talking about the farms that sell to restaurants. It seems like so many local businesses, everyone has really had to sort of scramble to figure out how to adapt to this changing circumstance. Um, yeah. So it's exciting to hear about, you know, you're taking a real leap with making such a significant change. Yes, um, we are. And it's, it's, it feels hopeful, even though I'm sure it's quite a lot to manage. Well, it is a lot to manage. And, you know, the Black Sheep has been known for a long time to be a gathering spot in downtown Amherst. We've done political events here and fundraisers. We've packed 40, 50, 60 people in the room. You know, we have Congressman Jim McGovern here. Elizabeth Warren spoke here. You know, and, and all that's dried up. You know, we can't do that anymore. So, yes, it's a huge, huge change. And we're really hoping, I thank you for, for doing this, because we're really hoping that people will come out, you know, and support us. And they don't have to come out in person. You know, they can get a curbside pickup or a home delivery, which we thought was really important because there are people who just don't want to, you know, leave their house, you know, and that could be three months, six months, could be a year. And in the restaurant world, a year is an eternity. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to make money. We, it's all slim margins, you know, in the restaurant business. So we have to, we have to have a plan that works. So that's what we're doing. Yeah. All right, well, thanks so much for your time, Nick. Great to talk thanks, to you Claire. and to get this update. Okay, stay in touch.